Hey, what's up, guys? This is the story video. Wait, we finally got there. <laughs> this is obviously going on Wednesday. Been filming on a Sunday. Uh, just getting ready to go to the gym. Still going on a Sunday. Had me rest day on Thursday. Doesn't mean you can't work on Sunday. Sunday, God's day. So, got to do God proud, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. This story video, I don't want it to be too long. I don't want to, like, prolong it out or anything. I'll probably do more in due time like in the future and stuff about different parts of it this part is just going to be about why i started why i told me the change and why i want this whole thing to be my lifestyle etc then there'll be other videos in the future talking about mental health breakups etc all that stuff um so yeah we'll, we'll get into it basically so uh i started back in the first lockdown so about three years ago and i was sitting at a very like i was like doing what everyone was doing in lockdown while they would say like every teenager i was staying up to like shit o'clock in the morning uh just eating anything in sight anything to get my hands on etc so like i was doing a uh, i think i was waking up before in the afternoon going to keep at about eight in the morning like eating at ridiculous times i was sitting at 18 stone six pounds when I, uh, which was about 120 kilo, I want to say, around about that, that mark. Um, so yeah, I was sitting heavy, heavy. Uh, and I just looked in the mirror and I was just like, not even going to lie, I just broke down because I was just like, I'm not happy at all. And then I just looked in the mirror and I was like, I've got to make a change. So I made the change in lockdown and started doing home workouts, you know, just... Everyone started doing press ups and sit ups in the room. Um, my dad obviously helped us with it. My mom helped us with it. We're buying the food, making the right food for us. I helped myself by saying disciplined, etc. Um, and then obviously my dad challenged us to a lot of stuff. He challenged us to a sit up challenge, which made me motivated to do that, etc. All that stuff. Uh, but it was just I wasn't happy. I was very insecure. Very insecure, and uh, just wanted to make a change and i just think so many people out there are just so pushing off a change that they know they can make they can easily make a change it's just you procrastinate or you push on you like oh, i'll start tomorrow or you go out on the weekend and you're like oh, I'll, I'll start on monday just start like there'd be a lot of people going oh my new year's resolution is going to be i'm going to go to the gym get fit why wait for new year's why wait for new year's just do it now just go now go tomorrow get a gym membership or do stuff at home change how you eat very small little things can build to that i don't understand why people like when i did it i didn't think oh, i'm gonna do it tomorrow i woke up it obviously like shit clock had a fancy sleep schedule and was like i'm gonna make the change today i'm not waiting for nothing i wasn't gonna wait for new year's resolution etc i just wanted to change it so if you are thinking that your new year's resolution is gonna be i'm gonna change and be fit for i'm gonna get fit this year just start now. You're already ahead of the people that are saying this exact same thing if you start now. Um, so, yeah, so I, I just started. Then I started, when we started to get bail out of the house, I started to go on runs, uh, early morning runs. I remember uh, on my birthday, my 16th birthday, went even went for a run on that morning. I was just so dedicated to doing it. And then I dropped down to, I think I got to around 16 stone five. So I dropped quite a bit. I dropped two stone and then... I think it was just over a year, or just under a year, it was one of the two, uh, and then obviously got into a relationship and stayed well with the gym and stuff like that, I still stayed, like I still balanced everything out perfectly, and then obviously in that November, I think it was like after a month me and my ex last was saying, uh, in November I had done my knee and told me meniscus, was out, couldn't train or nothing, and was waiting for an MRI scan, so baby and me tried to train beforehand. Got the MRI scan, torn that I fully, I'd seen that I fully torn my meniscus, not completely in half, but more like three quarters in half. So I had to, I had to have surgery on that. I was very depressed because I had to sit in my room, I couldn't do anything. I had, I was at a peak place with rugby wise, and then when I came back from, like when I was still going through the injury, it was horrible. Like the thoughts I had in my head. The depressed thoughts, being alone, like it was even like during COVID times as well. So you only like was you only really like was school. You weren't allowed to go outside and see anyone. We weren't people weren't allowed in the houses, so I couldn't see my girlfriend at the time, which was upsetting. And I just couldn't leave my room. I was just like behind on schoolwork. GCSEs were coming up. 
it was just very it was just a very stressful depressed dark time for me pushed through it though which was hard but i pushed through it pushed through it um then started to get back into training wise i had my physio started past physio started to get on the bike and then finally joined pure gym at the end of I want to say June, June, uh, around about, I think it was around about June actually, yeah, around about June, July, I started to go on the bike and then started to join, I joined PR gym, started to go and I started to properly do it, so, and then I started to, but when I did my injury and uh, when I, I did my injury, I just, there wasn't training anyways, even though I could have went to the gym and done arm stuff and done back stuff, but I just decided to let it ruin my life in a way kind of like ruin my life for the time and I and um I was I was just training as much as possible when obviously I got clear that I could train so I was trying to train properly and then try to get back in rugby training and then I eventually had my first match but in that time of being in surgery and stuff I put on a ridiculous amount of weight like I went from 16 stone free when I when I told me let's go 16 stone free when I came out of surgery and out of and being able to train again, I was sitting at 17 stone 10, I think. So I put on a ridiculous amount of weight just in a small period of time. And then I started to get dedicated and stuff again. Wanted to lose it. I got down to 17 stone again. And then got complacent. I got very complacent. I got had a lot of things went on mental health wise. I was uh, over a really rough time. Even losing the weight, I felt really insecure. I couldn't look myself in the mirror. I couldn't, like, get up most days. I couldn't be motivated. I would stay in bed. I would go parties. I would I wouldn't really go parties. I would just drink in my house and just, I went through a really dark time. I was just, like, wasn't happy at all. And then, it obviously, with what I had going on, had a massive effect on the relationship I was in at the time. With how I was, I, instead of talking about it, I just portrayed it in my actions and just was, turned very, the whole relationship turned very toxic near the end. And, uh, it just it went south basically like nothing between me and the last she's a lovely last but uh, it just went south and just I let my uh, problems get in the way of it and it affected the whole relationship and then uh, it was just one of them things in it where things go south and sometimes it's meant to be so maybe it is still meant to be but you never know we just got to move on that's why I'm doing this whole video and doing the whole gym uh, just got to move on see what happens but uh Enough about the relationship, that's for another video where I'll talk about that. But uh, when me and, I'm going to talk about it again. <laughs> when me and my ex broke up, I decided to change. That was February February 12th when we broke up, I think it was. And I was 17 stone... I think I was 17 stone 6. Yeah, 17 to 6 at February um, when we broke up and I just was like, I had to go gym, I had to just go gym and I, I did it, I did for the first month, it was very unhealthy, like I was very angry at myself, very upset and depressed and all that stuff, so I went gym but I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating, so I was just blowing up my body to the point where I actually nearly passed out in the gym, which was a stupid thing to do, but wouldn't recommend doing it, but then I just started to get into the social media realm, change my lifestyle, Tried to play rugby again, but I just dropped it, fell out of love with it. But it did help, but I just fell out of love with it. I love the gym side of things more. Fell in love with social media stuff. I introduced myself. I got more confident in myself the more I lost weight. Introduced myself to new people, new friends, people who can help me with my goals. Uh, just started to be dedicated, started to change my how I was eating. Start, obviously, enjoyed me summer, but start, stopped going out as much, just... Stay dedicated, had one lane, yeah, I have the bad days, but stay to be lane. And my whole reason for saying this is because it's very possible to go through things. And the character that you build, the person who you build, and the character you build, is how we act, how we rise when we fall, basically. So the person you build today is how we rise after we fall. And if you rise and rise again after you fall so many times, like I have, and if you're not more, you are going to be an amazing person and a special unique build because it's not easy to rise after you've fallen quite a lot of times when you've been through a lot of stuff like i'll talk about that in a whole different video with other people and i'm planning to have other people in these videos not just me talking to you but um yeah it's just 
it builds you. It builds you and uh, it just gets you to where you want to be. Realistically, like, that whole, the whole breakup and stuff, like, I felt like I was at rock bottom. Like, I was out drinking. I was even drinking in my bedroom. I was out doing stupid stuff, like, etc. All the things you shouldn't be doing. Basically, everything that was bad for you, I was doing, basically, right? And I was just went... And then I just decided to rise above that and just show myself that I can be a totally different person. And I did. And now I'm sitting at a 17 stone, 6, I say. was It's about 112 kilo, I want to say. But maybe higher. But I'm 40 stone, 11... No, sorry. Basically 93 kilo. <laughs> Not 40 stone, 11. 93 kilo, I'll just say that because I have been weighing kilos more. Uh now when I've just lost the weight, I'm toning up, I'm doing social media, like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, etc. Just trying to build an understanding, and I want you to have an understanding of why I'm doing this and why I started. The whole reason why I started is because I want to be, I'm not doing it for anyone else, I'm doing it for me. And that's what a lot of people have to get into your heads. A lot of people will change because they've been bullied. If you want to change because you've been bullied, change because you want to change, not because you want to fit in. If someone calls you fat, yes, it's horrible, but you might be fucking fat. So change it. That's what I'm doing. Changing it. You're going to change a lot of things. It's not even just gym-wise. If someone says you're stupid and you're, like, an idiot and can't do something, you could easily change that. You just have to put in the work to learn. Uh, so it's all about just character building. And my whole reason for doing this is to inspire many other people, like, uh, many people, obviously, like, mainly targeting, like, People that were bigger people that want to go from fat to thin because it's possible. I'm not thin, I'm not slim, like quite a big lad, but I'm a lot skinnier than I used to be. Like, I've still got insecurities, like my lower chest is a massive insecurity, and I'm just working on toning that. So, uh, the man I'm getting these mean comments and etc., I'm like, yes, okay, motivation, much as it hurts, motivation, 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 keeps you disciplined. I just wanted to change myself, and I wasn't happy, it was affecting family life. Obviously, relationship life, uh, friend life, and I was doing all the wrong things. I was going through all the wrong mindsets to do it. My whole reason for this story video is to show you that you can rise above it. It's so easy to rise above it if you just put your mind to it and stop pushing it away. Many people will run from the problems if it means they're able to survive. Whereas other, like 95% of people will run up away from their problems it means they survive but that five percent that run into the problems and tackle them and most likely defeat them are the people that will rise to the top and be that top one percent who can show that the different change and make that success that video that uh Hadi, Hadi put out if you don't know who he is get to know he's a fucking brilliant youtuber brilliant influencer everything he's just class put that video he put a video out basically saying that adversity is so key in a uh, in the gym wise a lot of people will be dedicated for a while and then a problem will hit them and then they'll stop but the people who go past their problems and keep going past their problems to get where they want to be will be that special person in the future so it's just the message to whole take away from this is i changed because i wanted to change and i needed to change and i'm wanting to show that I can't do this and mental health won't stop me. As many times as I try to knock me down, as many times I lose a family member again and again and again, it's not going to stop me from where I want to be. Amount of breakups, they ain't going to stop me where I want to be. Negative friends ain't going to stop me from where I want to be. Friends who are jealous ain't going to stop me from where I want to be. Negative people, all this stuff isn't going to stop from where I want to be. I am the hardest worker in the room. I don't care how talented you are. I don't care if you can lift more than me. I don't care if you can do as many reps as me. You are not working as hard as me in the gym. And that's my mindset. And that's why I'm a whole different beast to anyone else. But yes, my friends can... One of my friends can lift heavier than us. But I will tell you now. And he knows that this is my mindset. And he'll disagree all he wants. No one will work harder than me in the gym. I don't lose weight for the sake of it. I lose weight for a goal and for a mindset and for the eyes on the prize of what I've got and what I want for my life and family and etc. and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, the bit to take away from this is literally 
obviously yeah, I'll, I'll do more videos like this in the future one about mental health etc and um, break up lost family members stuff like that the thing to take away from this is don't stop pushing for your goals and, and just rise and if you if you want to make that change stop procrastinating stop pushing it off stop trying to run away from it stop trying to make excuses like you've got stuff going on that are in, in the way oh i can't go gym i don't have enough time make time if you really wanted to go gym you'd make time for it i've woke up my sleep schedule was fucked last night because i was don't get it wrong i was out last night for the england game which was my cheat day anyways so i was out last night for the england game didn't have many drinks to be fair i didn't really eat much yesterday so and we got knocked out so didn't have to drink <laughs> They didn't have to drink to celebrate. I was just went straight home after the game. But, uh, yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> I literally forgot the train of thought of what I was saying. No. Oh, yeah. Make time for the gym. Uh, obviously, like, I woke up at a later time of day because I didn't fall asleep well that, last night. But I'm making time for the gym. If you really want to go to the gym and really make a change in your life, you'll do it. You'll stop crossing, you start making excuses, you'll make time for the gym, you make time to make your food and all this stuff. It's all these things. If you like I'm so dedicated to making an influence and being and making an impression on people, that I stress when I don't have a video already to come out. And the reason why I stress is because I'm prone to it, I procrastinate. Every human pair procrastinates, it's all about if someone does something. It's all the difference between someone that procrastinates and doesn't do anything, someone that does do something. I'm the person that does do something, you should be that person as well. Don't make excuse, make a time for the gym. If you really want to change something about yourself, you will be dedicated enough to do it if you know it's right. But so many people will say this, I've had so many friends who have uh, went to the gym with me before and I've never seen them again, or they went for a few months and then didn't do it again because they don't have time for it, or they're too busy with college and stuff, etc. You can make time, it's a 30 minute session, could be the best session you've ever your life. 30 minutes to an hour. I've had so many people text me saying that I want to go gym, but I'm scared to go to the gym. Easy, start off slow. If you're scared to go to the gym, my advice is either go with friends, but make sure the friends that you're going to do stuff with. I'm always welcome if anyone wants to come gym. I'm always welcome. I'm always quite trained by myself or with a gym bro or whatever. That's mostly because I see him anyways in the gym. But if you ever want to train with me, just text us. I'm not... I can, I'm not as horrible as I look when I'm walking through town. If you want to come train with me, more than happy. Drop us a message. Um, on Drop it in the comments or drop it on Instagram or whatever. If you ever want to train with me and you're scared to start. But it's simple things like wearing a hoodie, wearing headphones. And a lot of people who are scared to start the gym, get one thing in your head. Nobody is looking at you. You'll get the odd two people, maybe three nobody is looking at you they're doing the work and if they're not then they shouldn't be in the gym so yeah the thing to take away from this like i've said a billion times is stop procrastinating if you want to change something like i changed and don't let mental health and your problems stop you if you thrive for a goal so much you're going to hit that goal no matter what so yeah i hope you enjoyed this little bit of a story video a little bit of a motivation video this is going to go out wednesday so Got a video got going out tomorrow that I edited today. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to use code jgriffin10, link in bio, my socials be in the bio, my Instagram, TikTok, etc. Uh, um, so yeah, just I'll probably just start dropping my Snapchat on there as well, actually, to be fair. So you because I'm a bit more active on there, to be fair. Um, I'm terrible at replying to DMs on Instagram. But uh, yeah. Just keep pushing, keep driving hard, and if you've got that goal and you know where you, what you want to look like, only thing that can stop you is you. It's you versus you. Remember that. Enjoy the rest of your week.